Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Mr. Echo Fox and today we're taking a look at a game called Drox Operative. It is developed and uh, actually I'm not sure if they published their own games as well, but it's developed by Soldak. Soldak are responsible for Den's Curse and Depths of Peril. Pretty cool indie games, maybe you've heard of them, maybe you haven't. They tend to make action RPGs um, such Similar action RPGs would be Diablo, of course, and Torchlight, and many other games. If you know what an action RPG is, you, you've probably played several of them. And um, they're actually quite good. They're usually sort of under the radar, but they're good quality action RPGs. And this one's a little different. It's an action RPG in space. So instead of a hero running around with weapons and... and and stuff like that. You're a spaceship in space and um, you level up and you kill enemies and as you progress through the game this is only the demo on footage uh, the footage I'm using right now is only the demo but as you pr pr progress the game as you level up your ship upgrades and it transforms which is a really cool idea. I've never I mean this is kinda new and in, in the idea that um, they're taking a different perspective I guess of the action RPG because normally you're a human or some sort of I don't know bipedal organism but this time you're you know you're a ship and you can hire crew you can uh, the, the loot system is completely random so you can pick up um, all kinds of different random and rare weapons and shields and armor and as I said as you level up your ship upgrades so it gets faster better bigger um, the 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 layout um well I'm not very articulate today am I the um, the way the ship looks and function changes as you progress through the game which is a really cool idea I like that now this is only the demo that I'm playing and I I honestly think this demo alone probably has several hours of gameplay so if you don't have the money to to buy the game yourself I suggest trying out the demo um, because you probably get a couple hours out of just this maybe even more I mean I only played for maybe 30 minutes but there's um, there's a big expansive world and and Soldak is is really good at making these sort of I guess time sync games games where you can just pour hours and hours of your life into and um, I want to talk about factions uh, I guess I'm not doing so well as at syncing up the commentary with the, with um, the gameplay in the background. This is the first time I've done post commentary. Normally I do it live. But um, we'll talk about the factions. There are different factions in the game, similar to, I believe it was Depths of Peril. They had a similar game mechanic where there are different factions and they'll each have quests and, and things that they want you to do for them. And you sort of have to do a little balancing act because you want to make everyone happy. Because these other factions, you're sort of um, a median. Is that the word I'm looking for? You're the you're, oh, middle man. You're in the middle. You're sort of like a mercenary contract for hire. You just do uh, whatever anyone else tells you to do. That's not the right phrasing. You're a mercenary, pretty much. So whoever pays you, you do what they ask. You're a middle man. And um, these other factions will go to war with each other. And you're sort of in, caught in the middle of it. And you've got to make everyone happy. You've got to do all the quests. Surely you could probably side with one faction, and um, but all the other factions would probably be out to get you. Plus, there's more quests if you go with more factions uh, rather than one faction. In the background, you'll see that um, we're in a bit of combat here. I don't like you know space sims or anything like that. You can take a lot of damage because it's modeled around the whole action RPG element. So you'll take on tons of ships, and. Um, Right now, this ship I have equipped has shields and um, no armor yet, but um, I have a powerful laser and I believe I have a nuke. So you'll see me drop it every once in a while and you'll see dozens of ships explode, which is kind of cool. And obviously I'm leveling up, getting XP as well. It's, it's very cool. It sort of reminds me of um, Space Pirates vs. Zombies, but with an action RPG twist to it. And I like that game, but I thought it needed more depth 
despite um, the fact that you could, you know, customize your ships, but you couldn't customize them that well. Um, what else is there to say about this game? I, I've only played the demo, so I can't, you know, wholeheartedly recommend it. But from what I've played, I, I enjoyed it quite a bit, and I honestly think there, if you buy the full version of the game, there's going to be a lot of content. I mean, this game is probably gonna take uh, 20 to 30 hours to beat. And the thing is, uh, with, with Soldax games, they often use um, random procedural generation, so it's random every time. So it could take you 30 hours, it could take you 50 or 100 hours, depends on your playstyle. It's like any other game like that, you know, similar to Borderlands or Torchlight or, I don't know, Skyrim, where there's an open world and there's random events and really depends on how much you want to discover and how much loot you want obviously I'm going through my inventory so you can hire a crew as well and you you have to pay your crew obviously it's not like um, some sort of um, simulation game where you have to manage your crew and make them happy but the only way to make them happy is to pay them so it's really as simple as clicking the button to pay the crew they're happy they your weapons function properly um, I don't know what happens if you don't pay them. I don't. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far in the game. Perhaps maybe um, your efficiency with weapons and, and shields go down because you haven't paid your crew. I don't know. Anyway, um, how else do I explain the rest of this? Um, it's pretty simple. Your your uh, every galaxy is sort of like a hub, and uh, I'm in the Nebula Galaxy. It's just short for Neb and there are planets all around and you explore these planets uh... some of them are unexplored, you explore them, sometimes you get loot, sometimes you have a random encounter with the enemy and sometimes you'll encounter different races and factions on these planets and they'll offer you quests they'll trade with you they'll um, talk about rumors and information about other races, that sort of thing it's really quite a unique experience uh, despite the fact that you know the action RPG has sort of been done before, it's sort of a different twist with spaceships. And if you're a sci-fi guy like I am, you'll probably like it even more than let's say something like Diablo, um, because it's got the sort of science fiction element to it. Now I don't know how long this video is going to go on. Um, I want to show you quite a bit amount of gameplay, so I think I'm going to end the commentary quite soon because I really don't have too much else to talk about. If you've played an action RPG, the, the formula is very similar. Obviously, you can see down on the screen, there's a hot bar with your um, with um, your quick items or whatever you want to call it. Why, why can't I? I should know this sort of thing. I'm, I'm a gamer. I play this sort of thing. It's, you know, you, um, wow. <clears throat> Let me start again. You have items that are hot keyed on the bottom left of the screen obviously correspond to the numbers like any action RPG and those can be things like um, regenerating your whole damage um, boosting your shields um, you can drop a nuke to blow up your enemies and on the right of course you have things like your maps and um, your log and your quest and you can level up your ship which I've already explained I'm not going to go too much into detail of the game Obviously, as you can see with those blinking question marks, those red annoying question marks, which I should have got rid of, but those are all tutorials. The game does a very good job of explaining everything. So if you want to know things, just click the you know the red question marks. And um, I sort of didn't even read anything because it, it um, functions similar to Depths of Peril and actually pretty much any action RPG. So it wasn't there wasn't really a steep learning curve. I'll probably go back and read some of the tutorials because there are probably some things I, I could learn about the factions and how best to manage making everyone happy because the factions are um what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. The factions are just factions. They're they behave like any other civilization in the world to one minute they're fighting, the next minute they're they're being friends. So that's sort of um, the way it works. Anyway, I'm dragging on quite a bit with this commentary. I'm I'm not articulate at all, so my commentary usually sucks, but people tend to tell me that it doesn't. So 
but I am pretty critical of myself. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with the rest of the gameplay footage. There's probably about five minutes left of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Go try out the demo. Also, I want to, I guess, quickly talk about the fact that there's been an absence of, I guess, free games, indie games on my channel. And that's because, honestly, I go through, believe it or not, I go through a lot of games and I make sure that, you know, these games are good first before I do a video of them, obviously. But free games that are really good, free indie games that are really good, are, are really quite hard to come by. Um, there are a few exceptions, but they're mostly games I've already covered, you know, games like Super, Super Crate Box and other such games that are really well designed that a well-known indie publisher sort of just give away for free. Um, but yeah, so... That's why a lot of these are more commercial indie games, if that makes sense, because um, really good free indie games are hard to come by, but I'm going to try to feature them as much as I can, because ideally I want to provide cheap and mostly free games for people to find and discover. That's that's the goal of this the whole indie game show. So I'm going to try my best to do that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Watch the rest of it. I've already dragged down the commentary a lot longer than I thought I would. So I might even cover the rest of the video. Uh, like and subscribe and all that nonsense. I don't even make money off the video. So I guess it doesn't really matter if you subscribe. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.